This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter told Mark Lamont Hill of HuffPost Live that he believes that Jesus would approve of gay marriage. I believe he would, responded Carter to the question, would Jesus approve gay marriage? I believe Jesus would approve of gay marriage. I don't have any verse of scripture. No, 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 just intuitively, yeah, Hill agreed. I believe that Jesus would approve of gay marriage, but I'm not, oh, that's just my own personal belief, Carter continued. I think Jesus would approve of any love affair that was honest and sincere and was not damaging anyone else. And I don't think that gay marriage damages anyone else. Jesus clearly defined marriage when he said concerning divorce, but from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Mark 10 verses 6 through 9. Besides Carter's sheer ignorance of Scripture, his point exposes his naivety concerning the need for children to have parents of both genders, the undermining of the marriage institution in society and its destabilizing effects, and of the gay agenda to take society's morals away from scriptural norms in other areas as well. Think French Revolution. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, Luke 17, verse 28. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.